Let us continue with our lesson and today we will be learning about the method override or we will be overriding a method from our super class in our child class. In child class we will be overriding some of the method from our super class. So let's go and see in a practical way. So I'll jump into my Android studio over here and uh, you can see that we have a drive and a view brick. So we have a two function over here and that one we are not overriding so if you go to car and the bike you can see we are not using that method anymore here but if you go to the uh, let's go to the this activity and you can see we have implemented or we have called that method from our fraud activity and if you go to the yamaha over here and we have also called that method over here but let's say when when we want to call a uh, yamaha dot drive so i just want to say that instead of the i'm driving i just want to say that i'm driving a bike and uh, if i override over here uh, if i write directly uh, i'm driving a bike but let's say our, our car which is a toyota or let's say our front is still making use of that method but when i Make use of that or when i call that method it will call this uh, vehicle method and uh, it will say that i'm driving a bike so i don't want to have like that so what i want is that whenever i call uh i whenever i make use of a car then i it must say that i'm driving a car and when i'm calling it from uh yamaha over here it must say that i'm driving a motorbike so how we can achieve that is overriding method so let's go to our bike over here class and uh, we'll just override a method so how to override a method is we can just call it as a uh, over override and uh, all right what method we want to override is a drive so we can say a function of drive and uh, inside this what's it saying is that the drive vehicle drive in a vehicle is final and cannot be overwritten so if we go over to a vehicle over here and this is a final method so if i say over here i nail final and it will say that if you notice that redundant modifier so by default it's final right uh, as we have seen in our class and uh, what we will do is we will make it as a uh, open and uh, we will go to bike over here and override the function drive and now we can just say that i'm driving here just copy this and just paste this over here and i'm driving a bike. and similarly let's go to our car and let's override a function of a drive drive yeah. and uh, let me remove this one and uh, let's copy just this one and just copy and paste it over here so i'm driving a car so now when we call when we go to the toyota sorry the fraud over here and we call that fraud dot drive so it's going to call a child method so in the child method we have overridden that method so it will go and call this method not the parent class so in the parent with the vehicle we have a drive method which is printing i'm driving but when we have overwritten that in our child class and uh, whenever we make use of that one in our let's say this activity is making use of that method and calling that we have a object of car and uh, this is a car object and so it will go to the car over here and it will find a drive method so if there is no drive method then it will go to the super or a parent class since we have overwritten it in a child class so this will make use of a child class and uh, let's go and run this one let us go to the run over here and now uh, let's go up and let's see yeah i'm driving a car so
So it's not calling the vehicle method that we have in the super class, which is I'm driving, but now it's calling I'm driving a car. So similarly, if we override a Yamaha and that's coming from a bike, it should print down I'm driving a bike. And uh, let's say that, let's say if you go to the car over here, we have successfully overridden it, the parent method, which is a drive in our child class and whenever we call that method it's going to call that method but let's say we have a requirement where we want to call a super class method or a parent class method as well as a child class method so how we can achieve this so let's say we have a requirement we want to call or uh, make a call to a parent class drive method as well as we want to call a child class drive method. so for that we can just make use of a super super means it's going to call a parent class so super drive and if you see over here this a super is a parent class is a vehicle so super means it's going to access a vehicle and from there we can access a drive method and now if you run this application it should access get access to the vehicle as well as a uh, drive in a child class so let's go and see in the run method and now you can see i'm driving a car and i'm sorry i'm driving and i'm driving a car so that's going to execute both so we are calling a super method first which is coming from our vehicle and we all are also executing the child class drive method which is overwritten so this is a simple way that we can override a parent class method in our child class so whenever we are inheriting some inheriting the properties and uh, method and behavior from our super class we can override the behavior in our child class using the override keyword and the function and the, the method name so if you notice the method name over here in a child and in a parent is the same so if you override a method that let's say it's hard drives, then that's not going to work because we don't have that method in our parent class. So that's how it's going to work. And uh, I hope you guys got it. And if you get confused over here, you may be a bit confused if you are first time using uh, all of this. But if you go and practice and learn more on it, you will definitely get a grip on it. And I would like you guys to go and practice it. And uh, let's continue with our lesson on our next video. Till then, have a great day.